First, to start for, how would you describe yourself to the, the audience today before we get into the author conversation? Well, I don't like to always talk about myself, but I will. <laughs> I'm Dr. Mary Seegers. I've been married to my dear husband for 52 years. Yeah. Right. Got married young. <laughs> And I'm a person who's very passionate about making sure that people enjoy who they are, be, be comfortable in their own skin, to be authentic, to be true to themselves. Uh, I'm down to earth. What you see is truly is what you get. <laughs> and I just love people. I love seeing people prosper. I love people seeing uh, enjoy themselves. I love family. I have two adult daughters and two grandchildren who I dearly love. I love to travel. My husband and I have been pretty much all over the world. I've been to Cairo, Egypt. I've been to Bangkok, Thailand. I've been to Sydney, Australia, down under, <laughs> uh, London, England. And I just enjoy meeting people. And that's an adventure for me. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think that, that um, it's interesting you say that because based on the, the bio that I read about you, it seems to tie directly into the type of work that you do in um, consulting and the, the business that you have. So could you tell us a little bit about your uh, consultancy? Sure, it's Seegers Consulting Group, and I have a team of uh, other coaches, certified coaches. I'm also a John Maxwell certified coach. I do training as well as speaking, and I enjoy helping people to get where they are to where they want to go. And I always say it's their destination, their journey, and their experience. So I don't try to influence what I've done, but I also like to let them know there's more greater on the inside of you. You know, so many times we're limited by our upbringing or our environment, negative talk, negative feedback. And uh, so we have to bring those gifts out, you know, I say, stir up that gift and allow yourself to be your authentic self and to explore and to grow. You know, many times I say we don't use that right brain enough. So sometimes I have to massage the right brain so they can be creative, think out the box, go beyond, get out of their comfort zone. Because I said the adventures out of the comfort zone. We like to stay in that comfort zone. But the moment we step out of that, things happen. Exciting things happen. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. If you are interested in stepping out of your comfort zone today, can I hear some snaps? I like it, I like it. So, as far as being an author, when did your author journey start? And can you tell us about some of the uh, books or projects that you've done? Sure, when I was about seven or eight years old, I was a baby of six, I'm the sixth child, and my mother had me at a later age, but uh, they said I was spoiled. I just think she loved me a little bit more. But uh, I always liked to write. I wrote short stories, I wrote poems, and I involved the neighborhood children. I was always the teacher or the principal. And I just wanted to have them, you know, we, there's so much more inside of us. I was always curious. And I would think of things and dream of things. I'm fascinated with castles. So I said, I'm gonna visit a castle and explore that. So my first book, when I was going through my dissertation with my doctrine, I had to write 150 uh, page. And I said, I'm gonna turn that to my book. And so it's called Power Talk Begins with Power Thoughts. And it's basically a self-talk to victory. How many know we talk to ourselves? Yes. All right, so make sure you're saying the right things to yourself. Make sure you're, you're edifying your person. And I said, be careful what you say to yourself because you are listening to yourself. So we wanna make sure that we're saying the right things. And uh, so that was my very first book. And from that, I went ahead and wrote another book called Wake Up the Leader Within You. And there's four steps of how to get out of that. Uh, you're, you're awake, but you're going through sleepwalking in life. You know, you don't know your authentic self. You're still going through the motion. And so I allow the people to know you got to arise, you got to awaken, you got to adapt, and then you got to be. And so it's just those four steps that will allow you to arise in your your, your, your hidden state, you know. And then from there, people said, Mira, you wrote two books and you're number one bestseller on Amazon. Can you help me write? And so I helped over 40 women so far. I'm looking for some men to men, men to write. <laughs> uh, but the 40 women, they wrote in my four of my anthologies and uh, Finish Strong, Destined to Win, and Wake Up, uh, Unlock Your Hidden Treasures, Time to Shine, and Release Your Hidden Treasure, Continue to Shine. And those women were able to pour out their heart and share their story and speak their truth. And it just gives me so much pleasure to see that you can help other people to write their story. And so I, I'm, I'm just thrilled with that. 
That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And shout out to the Amazon number one bestseller. That's huge. That's not not a small task. No. <laughs> um, the next question I have for you is in terms of the, all the creators that we have in here, the writers, authors, and so forth. Do you have any tips on how they can unlock their potential or do better at unlocking their potential when it comes to that creative process or that push that you need to make for a book and those type of things? Like, how can you be your best self when you're going through that, that writing process? I would encourage anyone who has an inkling of writing their story or speaking their truth, hire a book coach. And I'll tell you why. Because they will help you. They won't do the work for you now. It'll just allow you to free your mind, to free, to open up that curiosity, to massage that right brain, and to get into your creative mode. So many times we go through through the motion. Get up, take a shower, go to work, come back home. But there's so much more to our lives than that. At, to that point, I'm taking seven authors on our first Authors retreat cruise in October of this year, so we can be by the water. And we got, can we go? Okay, come on, I still got a couple more spaces. Oh yeah, sign up. <laughs> and I'm so excited about that. They're they're all um, some have written a book, but it's never been published. You know, it's the difference between a writer and an author. So you got to distinguish that. I have a workbook for them that's going to allow them to open up their wonderful creativity. Uh, we're going to go through what I call PREP, P-R-E-P. -E the P is state your problem or your position. R is to make your uh, response to that. And then E, give some examples. And then P, state your position again so that they know what you've done. So, you know, I was just sharing with Adam here earlier that I wrote in another book and it's called The Power of My Voice. Now, my voice might sound a little deep. My husband thinks it's sexy, though. <laughs> but this was prior to me having thyroid cancer, stage two. And I was telling the surgeon, I said, listen, I'm a speaker, and I'm speaking things all of, people all over the world had to hear what I had to say, so you'd be careful by touching those vocal cords. And so when it, the surgery was over, I'm cancer-free, praise God. I, my voice is a little deeper, but you know, I can still speak. Uh, authentically, I can still speak with power. I can still speak that will impact people's lives. So that's what we're going to do on the cruise. It's a six-day cruise. I said we're going to go from sun up to sundown. We're going to have ten, a chance, and you're going to hear about these seven authors, uh, eight authors that I'm taking with me on the cruise. And so this is just the first of many cruises we're going to have for authors. Anybody interested? See Dr. Mary because that's the time you're going to have the water. You're gonna have the, the air and the open time. You're gonna have that time. Now, don't worry about the bills. Just worry about your, you know, what's on the inside of you coming out. Mm -hmm. And I'll be your coach to help you do that. So mm -hmm. I'm excited. So just hire a book coach. Be serious about your writing because what you have to say, someone over in Augusta, Georgia, someone over in London, England needs to hear what each of you can say. And say it the only way you can say it. Now, I can repeat it and say it, but it's not how it would impact how you would say it. So get serious about your writing, hire a book coach, and let's get busy in writing that book. How about that? That's powerful, that's powerful. So I believe we have time for maybe one or two questions for Dr. Seeger. So I want to see if we have any questions from the audience. This is our Q&A portion. We'll do this with all of our authors today. Good question. You know, Amazon is so powerful, but no, that's not the only source where you can sell it. At one time, I was having some of my authors to sell it in Kroger's. I know that sounds strange. I don't know if y'all heard about the Kroger. You can sell it in Kroger's, you can meet the people where they are, and in the book lane, and that was very successful. Barnes and Noble is another source that you can sell your books. And I always tell authors, you know, your book is your business, and your business is your book. Have it available and ready for people. Because a lot of times, you know, there's, oh, I would get your book. Oh, I got one right here. Like, I can autograph it for you. Mm -hmm. So it's your business. It's your, you know, so allow yourself to be free to do that. I'm not saying go to door to door and sell it, but Amazon is such a great source. And then have a book launch. In all of my anthologies, I had book launches. Well, some was virtual during the pandemic, but the last two were live, and they were live. People came from all over. We had a wonderful uh, event. 
People autograph, they've autographed the book, they signed the book, they made their table look so presentable, they couldn't refuse, you know, they wanted to have the book. So yeah, Amazon is one great thing, but no, it's not the only source. Like I said, Barnes and Nobles, Kroger's, uh, making sure that you have book, uh, live book launches, and uh, even meet, meet the author at the library. I've allowed some people to go to their, library, their public library, and we have coffee and conversation with the author. So don't limit it just to Amazon. So Amazon want to charge up you, you saw before, but that's your property, that's your, you know, so yeah, there's other sources out there. Great question. I love that. As a, as a business-minded person, I love the marketing and branding and the business aspect of that. So thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. So I believe that that is our time, but thank you so much. That was amazing and I really appreciate it. So make sure you check out Dr. Seavers and her table. Thank you so much. Thank you.